Alright, today we're going to be hanging out in my boiler room. Uh, we're going to do some basic boiler maintenance, uh, but keep in mind that this does not replace having a certified professional come in and doing a thorough uh, diagnostics and tune-up, okay? Basically, we're going to replace our uh, fuel filter, our pump screen, we're going to replace our nozzle, and we're going to clean the boiler, alright? I'm going to break it into multiple videos because YouTube's getting kind of fussy about the watch time percentage, so I'm going to keep the videos on the shorter side, but I'll put them all in a playlist together. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do the fuel filter first. Alright, we'll start by cutting power to the boiler here. Okay, so we're at my fuel tank here, and I've got a firomatic valve, and I'm going to go clockwise to shut this off. Now keep in mind that uh, this is a spring-loaded mechanism and sometimes uh, sludge will build up and you'll have to actually push down on it. This one did release, uh, but I have had them stick, so you always want to push down to make sure that that uh, valve releases, okay? Let me grab some gloves real quick. Okay, you're going to want to have a catch pan of some sort. I've got a small frying pan here. I'm using a ratchet with a 5 8 inch socket on it here. And we're just going to loosen this bolt. Okay, this bolt just threads right down through to the bottom of the canister, and it's uh, it's also the filter housing. Okay, all right. Now your new filter should have come with uh, a new gasket and a washer for this bolt. All right. And what we're going to do is uh. I'm going to take and go clean this out real well. You can use carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner, something that, you know, basically doesn't leave a residue and evaporates really quickly, okay? So the filter is sort of your first line of uh, defense in terms of keeping your, uh, your boiler or your furnace running properly. Obviously, it filters out contaminants and sludge, um, which is important because you have a real fine nozzle. Uh, in place in there and it's important to keep contaminants away from that and the other thing is there is a pump screen um, Which we'll be cleaning here or replacing shortly um, and it's important for your pump pressure to be maintained um, So that your burner functions properly so uh, There are a couple of different kinds of filters for this same filter housing. Uh, this is the one I use I think it's got more surface area uh, the other one is sort of a gray uh, fibrous uh, filter and this one also includes, obviously, uh, the bolt gasket, the main gasket, and then the bleeder screw gasket, okay? Let's go get this back in place. All right, so you can see that there's a raised piece there in the center, and obviously you'll want to line that up with the hole and kind of push down, okay? Now on the other style filter, the fibrous one, there's a screen, and you want to slide the screen down over that, okay? You want to use your new gasket here. And you've got a new washer for your bolt. And just go ahead and start tightening it down. Now, there is a place for a wrench or a socket on the bottom side there. Um, you could certainly use that if you want to, but I've never had a problem just holding it by hand. All right, so you don't want to get it too awful tight. Um, we're going to check for leaks anyways, and if you need to snug it down more, you can. Before we turn our valve on, though, we're going to remove this bleeder screw and uh, replace its washer. And I'm using a 5 8 inch wrench for that. All right, I'm just going to start the threads, and then I'm going to open this firematic valve uh, just a little bit, not a whole lot. I can hear the air coming out. All right, there we go. Now we could shut the firomatic valve off so we can get that threaded. Okay. 
Okay, so now our filter housing is full of fuel oil. And we're going to tighten that down. Okay, now we can open this up all the way again. And again, it's counterclockwise to open it. And we'll just watch for leaks here for a second, clean up around it. Okay, once I've verified that there are no leaks, I'm going to shut this fire-o-matic valve off again because we're going to make our way to the boiler room to replace the uh, pump screen and nozzle. So if you found this video helpful, give me that thumbs up. And again, this will be part of a playlist where I'm going to do the uh, filter, the pump screen, the nozzle, and a boiler cleaning on a uh, Biazzi boiler. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next phase, and uh, I'll link to that at the end of this one. Thanks for watching.